Welcome, folks, to my combat channel news. I'm the Act Man, Ron Yakavetti. Fabiano Iha, the King of Armba. And we have got a show that is stacked with history and what's going on today in mixed martial arts. Just in the opening alone, fighters on the outs, fighter on top, a fighter who's in the game, not on the outs, looking to get back on top, and that's just segment one. Yes, and then in segment two, we got the CEO from Bad Boy Brazil in the house. We got two nice interviews. We're gonna talk about the past, while he being sponsor, all the big name fighters they sponsor in the past, and the one they sponsor now. That's correct. And, and this is something you're gonna be seeing us do on the news show more often when we get somebody in studio who's got so much to offer, so much history, so much involvement, and they give so much back to the sport, we can't just give them seven minutes. We do two and Besides segments. that, you talk a lot too, that's why. Let's move it on. <laughs> Dana White say Brock Lesnar is not coming back to UFC. Why he brought him from the first time yeah. anyway? Yeah. Oh, remember that mistake I made? I'm not doing it again. That's basically what he's saying. Look, Lesnar brought, uh, he brought a lot of fans crossover from, from WWE. Clearly that was part of the plan. Same reason why he, he trounced on the reputation of Kimbo Slice and Elite XC. Mm -hmm. Said uh, he'd have to fight his way through the Ultimate Fighter. Slice gets on Ultimate Fighter, doesn't win the show, still ends up in the UFC because if you can put asses in seats, you're worth something to somebody. Uh, Dane is not a fool. That's where that comes from. Uh, and Lesnar, with a legit background, and you know wrestlers have a good yeah, pedigree in MMA. Uh, he just, you know, I, I think his biggest problem, to be honest, you, you may even see it in this clip, is that he doesn't have a glass jaw like in boxing when somebody gets hit, they just can't take a shot. He doesn't like to take a shot. And when well, he does, he turtles up and he quits. There's a lot of other guys that do the same, but anyway, see you later. You're going, should go away yeah. faster than They'd that. He'd be getting hit with metal folding chairs instead of uh, actually nice. messing it up in the cage. Let's go to a real fighter, Leo, guys. Nice upcoming fight. George St. Pierre, he said that he's ready better than ever. When people say that they worry about and we have like a uh, series on your knees. Right. You know, in my opinion, you're coming back stronger because you, you know, do physio physiotherapy yes. and you have a you know, like doctor taking you know, look exactly. So you're not having any problem anymore. Of course, it's gonna come back stronger, at least on that leg. Right. You know, it's not a good strategy to go, you know, for a knee bar or kick in the knee, you know, because he is very well. Yeah, he's recovered. He's recovered to he's, that fight. He's bigger, better, stronger. And, and clearly, even if he doesn't feel like he's better version of himself, uh, taking Carlos Condit lightly would be a mistake no, for anybody. Always, always. What I like about Condit versus St. Pierre is the same thing I liked about Nick Diaz versus St. Pierre. You're looking at a guy who's going to make him fight. Mm -hmm. When St. Pierre has been given the luxury of staying on the outside, picking his moments, and not being forced into a fight, he has made it a demonstration of what he can do when he wants to do it, not engaging the other guy. Condit. Not gonna let him do that. Well, again, you know, they're both on the same weight division as, as myself. I like George St. Pierre. I, you know, I think it's gonna be a great fight. I can wait. I yeah. personally can wait. And, you know, I maybe even go there just, to, you know, see that. But anyway. Two top uh, guys at the top of their game fighting at the right time. So it's, yeah, it's a great match. It is, it is. It is. So let's you talk about the next one. Announce that. Yes. This next guy is a guy who. Regarded as probably one of the most disliked guys in MMA, but love him or hate him, Josh Koscheck is clearly, to me, from his inception as a mixed martial artist when he came on the scene, to now likely one of the most improved fighters in the game. I'm 100% agree with you. He improved himself a lot. But the people that he's been calling right now is people that, you know, fighters that I don't know if you're going to have a good experience, good fight <laughs> with these guys. Yeah, that, that's a, it's a reasonable thing. Nick Diaz, he called out he called Damian, Diaz, Maia Damian Maia and Jake Ellenberger, who he was supposed to fight UFC 151. Mm -hmm. His injury took him out of it. Ellenberger went on to have a great victory. But, yeah, I agree. Those are three fights that he's got to be on point. Let's go, you know, step by step on this fight. So Nick Diaz, okay, if he goes against Nick Diaz and Nick Diaz play the same game that George St. Pierre play against him, and that okay, it's just jab, jab, jab. And yep. you know Nick Diaz' hands is as good or better than uh, than the, 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 the and then then the George St. Pierre as well. Yes. Okay. So that's gonna be you know a damage for him. I don't know. And if you go against Demi Maia, now we talk about amazing jiu-jitsu guy that being proved on 170 pounds and submit almost every single guy he's getting from him. Yeah. 
So I don't know, you know, like he's and a wrestler who wants to be on the ground with a guy with that kind of jits is going to be a difficult fight. And then Ellenberger's, you know, good on his feet, strong on the ground. Yeah, that's, those are tough fights for him. Clearly, I know you see Damian Meyer right there. He's a uh, yeah, you don't want to be messing anywhere near his open guard, closed guard, but uh, nothing. He just he's solid all around. And and interesting, Diaz outboxed B.J. Penn. Mm -hmm. He outboxed that is a, Paul uh, Daly, uh, who's yeah. a Muay Thai fighter. Yeah. That says something. And you talk about again, uh, you know, a guy that was a jiu-jitsu guy. Yeah. It was a jiu-jitsu guy that improved his stand-up. You know, I like that. I like. You know, I, I like also Josh. You write about that. He improved himself a lot. Very improved. That's not a fighter that you know. I, you know, and of course in these days there's no condition to fight him. But back in the days, it was a guy that I, you know, be interested to fight him. I fought similar guys, kind of the same style, same. You right. know, suppose uh, very strong, uh, good wrestlers. But anyway, if you're him or you're his management, right? He's he's looking to get to the top of the division. He's got to take those fights at that level. He's already fought St. Pierre and lost. He needs a name to put himself on the map. And he's doing right. You know, yeah. if I'm there and I need to get myself back in the game, I've been calling everybody. Yeah. You know? I've been calling you. Yeah. You, hey, listen, and I, I might uh, I might eventually answer in a couple and of years. You too. But now yeah, you're you. probably calling out at home. I'm calling you too. I'm calling you to come and back because we're going for a commercial. Don't go anywhere. Oh, that was perfect. That was Welcome back, folks. My Combat Channel News, joined by a very special guest, old friend of yours, from of what course. I know, Marco Merhe. Merhez. Merhez. Oh, I've Merhez. been practicing, and I'm, <laughs> I'll have it by segment three hey, for sure. Welcome to my world, my friend. But I took a chance, though, right? Yeah, it's, you <laughs> took a chance. There you go. I took a chance. Well, welcome. Thanks for being here, too. Um, Thank you. You've, you've done so much for the sport. You've been around the sport for so much. You head up bad boy Brazil right. right now. So I know we first wanted to take a walk down memory lane with you. Right, because we're going back so. in the in, we're going back in the days. We're going to go a little bit of history on the MMA. So basically, guys, if you're home, if you don't know too much about Bad Boy, Bad Boy was a company that start to believe on the fighters when MMA was not even there. Right, and we including myself, believe me. <laughs> I was sponsored by Bad Boy in the beginning in the sport and and uh, and the whole thing. And uh, they, you guys, pretty much saw from the beginning to now the whole sport grow and you know that grows so much in brazil now it's unbelievable yes. all over the world but in brazil in particular the last ufc was unbelievable yes grew a lot the last ufc i was there was unbelievable the, the crowd was unreal everybody yelling everybody cheering it was really nice i saw the one the two and the third but uh it was really nice and really big after global took out of the 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 live scene in, in UFC, it's even better. So let's start to go back, 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 back in the days. And then one of the guy, like let's talk about some of the guys that you guys used to sponsor that time. Like let's start off with Mark Kerr. Mark Kerr. <laughs> and these yeah. are names that people who follow the sport for a long time are gonna know. Yes. Exactly. That's, That's sure. one of them. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so Mark Kerr is why right the Smash Machine he is to be one of the heavyweight that is to walk in with the best shape ever. That is that shorts right there that was everybody very should know that that's the traditional that's right. you guys come out with that design. We came out with the you know, first of all uh, the beginning with the black and the, and the, and the white borders right. and uh, right there, there it is, Marker yeah. wearing that and he's wearing against uh, another fighter. It's funny that back in the days used to be the time that sometimes two fighters used to walk in with the same right. uh, shorts, different color, sometimes even the same color. Right. And people, yeah. people who don't even, that's what the, how good the branding is. People who don't even know maybe that it's bad boy, right. they know the eyes, like they've yeah. seen the branding before. They who came up with the eyes and, the and, and are those somebody's eyes? Like, is that you? Like, you're like, you're mad at somebody? You're like, no, no, this, this, no. Guy, no, this guy, these eyes came from a, from a California designer, came out from the face of the bad boy. Mm -hmm. It's a designer that used to do Life's a Beach back in Carlsbad. Then we took out the eyes and put in the back of the, the, the shorts to, re, to be recognized and became this big icon of a MMA. Yeah. A Marie Bittet is another very, very one of the best jiu-jitsu guys in Brazil that was also sponsored by Bad Boy. Amari now has his own uh, fighting organization that's doing very, very well in Brazil, competing, you know, like 
so like there's little ones that start to coming up and to be a little rock on the shoes for UFC, at least in Brazil. Uh, Marie also was sponsored by Bad Boy, and right. now the whole show is sponsored by Bad Boy. I'm yeah, correct? Yeah, you're right. Amori Bitet was one of the, our first first athletes. He helped us a lot to grow the, the sports in Brazil, in the world, I guess. And he now he, he owns Bitet Combat. It's a very big, they, they, do, they do about 10 or 15 shows a year, mm -hmm. and it's very respectable uh, tournament. I'm agree. Mark Coleman, the hammer, the hammer, the, hammer, the king yeah. of the ground and pound. Bro, he's, right. he's, we he talk about the map. guy that That's has right. 12 UFC fights, 13 pride fights. Really good. That means he's been everywhere. Yeah, he's yeah. been far from lazy in his career. No, <laughs> there you go. No, That's him there fighting so against and getting kicked against uh, Hua. Yeah, that was a look good the one. shape they used to walk in that time. Really that was strong. like steroids free on that time. So we could go ahead and just shoot what else to make you just look a little bit bigger. Yeah. You Giant. see him now? Yeah. Like anyway, another uh, guy another I'll let guy, you introduce yeah. this one. This guy probably known now more for being uh, let's say handsome. Uh, right. you, you just ask him. He'd tell you, but also king of the arm bar. Right. Yeah. Oh, Fabiano Iha. Look, look how good look at looking that, that guy look is. At that. Look at that. What, look at that shape. Uh, I was like 100% bad boy back in All the right, day. That's right. There we go. Anyway, and we got also. I'm glad it's an uh, arm bar picture. Arm bar by from way, Lavon Clark and UFC. Yep. Yeah, back in the day. Beautiful. So, anyway, let's. Who's looking better than me? Tell me. There's not much that looks better than you. I think there's a classic car somewhere that people would think looks better than you. And then, of course, is this thing. It's the, uh, the top 10 that we do every show. Even he agrees it looks better than him. When we're done with that, we'll be back we'll be with back. more with Marco. Don't go away. Just check this out. Here it is. Hey, everyone. This is Aaron Gales, and this is your top 10 heavyweight division. At number 10, we have Travis Brown. At number nine, we have Antonio Bigfoot Silva. At number eight, we have Josh Barnett. Number seven, Shane Carwin. At number six, we have Frank Muir. At number five, we have Daniel Cormier. And number four, Fabricio Verdum. Number three, Kane Velasquez. And at number two, Alistair Overeem. And at number one, the champion, Junior Dos Santos. Thank you so much for watching. I am Aaron Gales, and that was the top 10 heavyweight division. So See, Marcus, do you agree that's better than blah, blah, blah? Yeah, much better. <laughs> <laughs> she thanks us for watching, but really, she doesn't need to do she that. Need to do I'm right. there. So I agree. <laughs> before we move to the next segment, the next segment we're gonna go over the new new guys that is sponsored by Bad Boy. We we can't forget about the yes. one that fits in boats. It's Vito Belfort. Yeah, the crossover. Right, yeah, Vito. Vito used to also be sponsored by Bad Boy back in the days, yeah. and and to still days. today. No, not, no, not, not today, today, but, but, but he, he was crossed uh, into he crossed over from then to yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. The yeah and phenom, I think the phenom. The phenom, yeah, I think guys like that helped carry the torch over because the older generation of fighters, I think, brought credibility to the sport that the newer ones didn't have yet. Right. And I think guys like him staying around mm -hmm. brought, the for they brought the sport forward by staying in there and still being relevant. Yeah, and fit enough to fight, to fight against the uh, high-level guys. He's really good. He's going to be a good, uh, looks like forever. Anyway, we got to pay your bills we're going not too far not too long we'll be right back
Welcome back, folks, to My Combat Channel News. Thanks for staying with us, and we're thanking you because we don't combine look as good as Aaron Gales, so we no. figure we owe you that much. But, exactly. But, Marco, more, more with you. Um, we want to flash forward now to some of the guys currently right. fighting who are representative of, of Bad Boy. And again, you and guys... well. Yeah, you very guys... Well. Very well. You have an eye for talent. I mean, this, there's no there's no average or worse guy on this list. That's right. Of, that we have here. So Absolutely. Damon Maia, that just won the last UFC in Brazil, he is one of the new uh, sponsors, sponsored by Bad Boy. Like, why that Damon is... Uh, you know, you guys probably happy that he decides to d go down to 170 pounds yeah, it's a good to meet decision. everybody and uh, keep, you know keep your name nice and strong. Yeah, right there. there you go. Nice banner with bad boy. I love the logo eyes thing too. I mentioned earlier because look, that's two guys. See, like, uh, like again, happen. that yeah. happened. Two guys sponsored by by the same uh, company. That in this case, is bad boy. Yeah. So we talk about Damon Maya. He got 17 fights, uh, 17 wins and four losses, 15 fights on the UFC. I couldn't believe like that he had that many. Worker, yeah, yeah. Good, good for him. And he, he, he lined up to, to fight again. There. That's why he's there. Yeah, I, I hope he have you know a chance uh, for the for the for the belt. Yeah, the just wait for for sure. If he goes to the ground, he's he improve a lot in stand up. But yeah. if he goes to the ground and start to go to the back, the guy's gone forever. And yeah. we're talking that, that would, this would be against Saint Pierre. Yeah. Exactly. Before, I mean, if you're Damon Maia, it's, it's it's almost a little disheartening to be that good, and to get a title, you've got to beat Anderson Silver. Or right. George St. Pierre, it's just, right. and you got to climb Mount Everest or Mount Everest, it's just really... That's right, it's going to be really hard. Another guy that you guys see a lot everywhere is Mauricio Shogun Hua. That's what I'm talking about, a guy that 21 wins, 6 loss, yeah. 9 fights in the UFC, 13 fights on Pride. Back in the day, he used to fight in Pride all the time. People used to love, not only that, he is the Pride uh, champion. Yep. Yeah, yeah well, he's one of the best. He was one of the guys that came over from Pride and had, had high expectations, and then he initially didn't live up to them. That's right. But then he kind look. of got his stuff on track, mm -hmm. and then he was everything people thought he would hope he was going to be. Great guy. I got to hang out with him and and um, really cool. and his brother very cool. Ninja very in, in London at the Cage Rage event right. too, and they were really really cool people. Treated the fans really well, yeah, which is important. For sure. He's really cool. He's really smart. Very strong. Yeah. He's going to the the, the the belt again. The last fight was not the best. But he's going back, and I hope he got the the, the belt again. Yeah, I hope he at least have a chance to fight for sure. Like we we're gonna cheer for that. Eric Silva. Yeah, that's Eric. a kid that I, since the day one I've been you know keeping my eyes on him. And of course you guys did a good yeah, job you know really signing good. him from the beginning, and he's coming up. And well, it, it, I like him. You know yeah. I like his hard that, not that, to. Really, yeah, hard not to. Hard not to like. Really talk to us about it. You were at his last fight. Not yeah, an easy one. Not an easy one. He almost got there. The whole crowd when he almost got the the, the Mata Leão, is I think just a little a little thing was, was missing up uh, for the he, he didn't end that fight. It was a great fight. Everybody loved the fight from the beginning till the end. He was he fought like a tiger. It was a really nice fight to watch. Yeah, like again, uh, uh, Dana White already said that he is something you know yeah he, he's and special. he doesn't matter if he lost he got 70,000 for the best fight of the night he's very rest. young so he got a future so. in the front and yeah. he is 14 wins three loss and he got four fights only in UFC so he got a lot to go and with all that money they're not spending on Brock Lesnar yeah <laughs> no you know. that's right give it to a guy who should be there that's right Paulo Thiago that's Paul another Thiago. guy that I like a lot and yeah. um, Again, sponsored by Bad Boy. You guys have been uh, with him since uh, pretty much in the beginning, I mean. Yeah, so he will, we have him from uh, two years or three years uh, already. He, he last fight, he got the, this bad luck about the, the almost an accident against the, the, the opponent. But this next fight is going to be in uh, Macau. He, he pretend to, to win for sure. Yeah, that's the, the, he's he's a very good fighter. I like him. Yes, and, right there uh, against Kostchuk. That's yeah. not easy to do what he's doing not right there. Not easy no, no. at all. No, I mean, it's, it's easier to knock down a Buick than to knock down Kostchuk. <laughs> and, right. and he's he's got some power that's in his right. hands. He's, he's good on the ground. Yeah. Exciting yeah. guy to watch. So that's Paulo right. Thiago is 14 wins, 4 loss, and he got 8 UFC fights. And more is coming, for yeah. sure. Yeah, oh yeah, he's not going anywhere. Murilo yeah. Ninja. 
I like Ninja. He had the Elite XC title for a short period of time when I was over right. there. Um, I, I believe he lost it to um, Joey Villasenor right. in, a, in a really, really tough fight. But he had that same style like Shogun. He uh, very aggressive. Yes. He's very good. technical. I yeah. like him. I like really him nice too. guy. I guy been out forever. Come on, 13 fights in Pride. Come on, guys. It's you a know? lot. It's a lot. Like Pride is an organization that, and back in the days, was Look no joke. And he is that. Uh, a mo aggressive. The, 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 strong, exactly. strong and aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. He was. He was exciting to watch again. Holding the neck and throw the knees. That's right. Mark really, really style. nice guy again too. Got a chance to talk to him, and he was really, really cool. Yes, that's right. I agree. What's so. uh? Next, for like you think that for bad boy, like yeah, you know? and I'd actually specifically like to know. You're obviously picking up new guys. You had other right. guys we talked about before in the past. You had new guys now. Right. What makes you catch uh, somebody? To, what catches your attention when like, a fighter? You go, that's a bad boy fighter. We need to sponsor him. I, I, I think it's aggressive, the style, the heritage, and where they come from. There's a lot of things that you you decide. To, to sponsor or not, mm -hmm. we try to get even the, the personality, how he does with the family, with the with the friends and the sports. That special star quality we hear at the show call it the Eha factor. <laughs> Eha factor. Anyway, guys, <laughs> if you're at home and you believe that you are a bad boy fighter, send them an email badboy.com.br and it's all the information, everything is there. Send you a video. Maybe you guys sponsored by Bad Boy. Anyway, yeah. Marcos, thanks for coming. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Yes, thanks for having your eyes on us. Our eyes are on you. you. All right.